and hey guys welcome back uh squash the lemons here and today i'll be doing a tutorial video on how to use pin.net to edit any of your videos um i mean any of your pictures that you want to edit like maybe you want to make up a maybe a thumbnail for your video and you want to um have a great thumbnail so you can just use pin.net instead of um, photoshop that uses less that uses more system resources to edit the kind of pictures and it's nearly the same functions so basically, um, to get paint.net, all you have to do is just go search paint space dot net. Just click on this thing. I'll link it to the description down below. Then click download. Um, click on this. I should get the download. Download. Then after that, just click download and send it to whatever file. Like maybe, for example, my files that dot exe files, but I'm not gonna. Is the .zip file. I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna use to come into this and download because I already have it. What you guys want to do is just download it and then you'll come out with this. So just locate what you have here. Click. Oopsies. No, why am I unpinning it from the test bar? Let's pin that back. And let's bring it back. Then close that window. No, no, no. We don't need you. We don't need you. No, Doug. We don't need you. So today, then all you have to do is just locate where you get pinned on it. If you're using Windows 8 like me, just click it down. Go. This is 8.1 anyways. Um, just go search for paint. Paint.net. And click it and you can pin to the taskbar like what I did. And this will pop out. I've actually installed two plugins which is the, um, the like circle center to the center. I mean like center an image to the center so that it makes it more um, nicer. or And some of the easier tools that will be custom instead of this area so you can cancel this and you still have this but um and and if and, and in in case you like delete all these and you don't want to all you can do is just go to windows reset window location and everything will be run back all right guys so let's begin so what you guys are gonna do is just first is try, click a new since it's your video you're gonna put a 1020p video 1020p pixels and 720p and click ok and then this will pop out what you're going to do next is choose on any of the image that you want to crop. As you guys can see, I've been cropping a lot of images, so uh, not really good for today's tutorial. But then, um, let me actually put this to full screen, so it's pretty easy. So actually, I have. Let's download. Let's go to Google. Document Google. Googleimages.com. Okay, oopsies. And you just have to search. Maybe I want to search for a. Let's search for, um, because I kind of like Charizard, so let's search for Charizard, and make sure you find the file as a PNG, PNG image. So, and then to find out if it's a PNG image, you just have to wait, and if you see the back that it turns all like checker doctees, let me just increase that for you guys to see. If it get all, if it gets like full of checker dots. Okay, so now when you can see there's this there will be these checker dots and if you could full size it, make it view the whole image, you'll see nothing at the back. You guys will do is just right click, save images, and it will, it will normally pop up as PNG image. Just save it for whatever you want to name it, I'll just leave it as it is. Just save it. Alright, so if you, this is just for my test, so I'll just go to documents, with my whatever my file is, my images, and I know this is really messy, it's... I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <sighs> God, that is messy. Wait, let, wait a while. Let me just reorganize. Guys, reorganize. So let me just copy that. You know what? Let's just copy that. No, let's copy this. Too. Screw this. I'm just gonna copy all of these. Control C. Sorry guys, I'm just um, organizing all my videos and all that cool fun stuff. Oh, that's doing that. Um, what you guys want to do is just go to the image. As you guys can see, I have my Charizard image here. What you guys will want to do is actually um, 
we can actually make a second copy of it and wait while the computer's lagging 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 you can do also so save the second image make it a second version so because this is my test well, I'm going to make two versions so let's just go into whatever file I have let's go to the images and you can see that I have two files I'm just going to work on the one so this is basically the image so as you guys can see, this is separated from the original, but I wanted to make it at the original. So this is basically how to make a thumbnail with paint.net. And you must learn how to do it. That's what um, Dr. Lemons will definitely say. And so what you guys want to do when you get the PNG image, the good thing about PNG is the background transparent, so when you transfer it over, it'll be transparent so no one can see the back. What you guys want to do is just click here, rectangle se sense, um, select, and just go from the top anywhere, just slide down because this thing will just come to the max size. Then Control C. Just press Control C because if you right click, it will just make the normal. So you just Control C. Then go to the go then go to the current new um picture and just Control V and you'll see the image right here. Don't worry about the checker dots. Um, it will go away once as long as you get a new get a different background or have more editing. So this is basically it. But I want to enlarge it. So hold this bottom, hold the corner, press Shift and drag it open. So I like to be, I like it to be around this side. So let me actually drag this over. Actually, I don't really want this history thing, but I really want this. So I'm gonna drag it maybe up to here. So next thing you're gonna do is just open up a second image. Like maybe you want you want to crop it. Like maybe I you I want to use a troll face on it. So I'm put a troll face on the Charizard. So first thing you guys are gonna do is just choose the right angle and select the whole image. Let me just get that there. Yeah, no, no. Go from the corner, drag it all the way up, and control C, control V. No, oh, please. Let's unselect that, control V. You can expand the canvas size if you need to, and as you guys can see, this is also a PNG file. Press shift to resize it into the size you want it. Because I'm doing a Charizard, so I actually want need to have the troll face to cover up the whole Charizard face. As you guys can see, if it's perfectly and it actually causes it to, to like lose some of the image, which is what we need. So let me just resize it a bit more. And there you have it. That is my troll face Charizard. But you guys, let's say you guys want, still want to set some more of a, or maybe a um, thumbnail. So you guys gonna do just go to the paint. Select the color you want. I'm gonna just gonna choose blue, green for this occasion. And you have to click on it and click it, click it. Oh god, that's really messed up. Wait a while. You know what? Let's put the history here. Bring it, bring it right here. I have no idea why this ain't coloring. Let me just adjust it. So basically, what you guys want to do is just color the back background um i do believe you can you must delete everything first oh oh that's pretty cool <laughs> great troll face ha 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 and so that's basically how you do oh my god let me just undo all of that and if you guys want to undo just right click on each of the command that you just did and automatically it'll be undo undid undo whatever or you can just click it to undo it and as you guys can see I'm done. So what you guys will just find a correct background which I forgot to do. So let's just open up a good background. So oopsies. So what you have to do is just click and search Google again for maybe an example of a good background. Background. Um um, for the sake of today's video, 190, no, 120. Um, let's just choose this because this looks really cool. Just save this image. Just save it. And then what you guys want to do next is just go search for uh, just your regular paint. Paint. Then click on the paint, which is the, um, the uh, software that comes in by normal to normally to most of the to most Windows computer, just then after that, all you have to do is just um, click on file, open, and search for whatever image you have done. And as you guys can see, this is the image. But then you have to resize it to 10, 10, 20, 10, 10, 20, you know, 120, 
how do you pronounce it? Oh shit, I forgot how to pronounce that. Oh, 1280p. Whoopsies. Then all I have to do is just click resize and resize it to the 1280p thing. 1280 by 720. Um, it can't seem to. No, I'm check. Um, maintain ratio aspect and just type in the number and click OK. As you guys can see, this is the large size, so just save this and then go back to paint.net and then reselect uh, this one. As you guys can see, this whole thing overlaps. So, what you guys will want to do is um, instead of those images being on the top, you can actually uncheck. As you guys can see, this is with the checkered ones. You check it and and this is basically the background. So actually, what I did something wrong. So just check Control C again, and then over the oh, whoopsies. Yeah. So now my use this as your new workspace. Control V, bring this in. So maybe example, let's move this away from there. Pretty cool. So um, move this and let me enlarge this because I really want to enlarge it. Um, so maybe example, you enlarge it all the way at the corner and if this is hindering you just can you can close it or you can move it somewhere else which i normally just close everything but i'm not i'm just gonna leave the tools down there because you will need the tools so just create put it at um the corners or you can put it in the center which i'm gonna do right now then just go to whatever face you have done or throw face or whatever or you can just click here control c this you control v on it and then you can adjust paste it back on so press shift resize it the size you want it to be and after that put it near the face so that's basically my thumbnail but then you will want the site images so you can maybe put in you can most probably like find something that you really want to like maybe example i did a pokemon walkthrough so let's go google images or you can just like take a screenshot of the particular moment when you have the one and put it as a background so you can resize this to make it bigger or smaller and you can make basically make it look more fancy smancy so th that's my tutorial on how to make a thumbnail or actually just to use paint.net to um, modify a picture to make it look like to overlay something um, I'll show you my first one that I did for my previous one the how to use a GBA how to run a GBA ROM I'll just show you I did it with SS Sandy's um, image and it looked turned out pretty well so I kind of liked it, so hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy it, remember to thumbs this up and share it with your friends if they really need to. So, peace.